In this part of the lecture, we're going to review the method of variation of constants. Also, uh, I've referred to it as the me method of variation of parameters. Okay, they're the same method. In particular, we're going to show and discuss how to solve some sort of inhomogeneous second order differential equation where the a, b, and c are constants and the f of x is the right hand side some sort of function given function. Now the method of variation of constants, variation of parameters is very powerful and it's more general than the um, method of undetermined coefficients. We're going to look at this, at this um, specific problem and the technique we're going to use is the variation of constants, variation of parameters. This is a very general method that can be applied when we don't have uh, a simple right-hand side. Okay, So let's have a look at the following problem. Uh, y double prime plus 4y equals cosec of 2x. We want to solve for the unknown function y. And it's a two-step process. First of all, we want to solve the hom so-called homogeneous problem associated with this. And then we want to build a particular solution based on that homogeneous solution that we, built, that we um, originally formulated. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. It's a two-step process. So essentially, we forget about this right-hand side, just make it zero. And you want to solve this basic problem. Okay, so it's pretty easy to solve that. You may be able to do it by inspection, but let's just write down the characteristic. The characteristic equation. Okay, so it's going to be um, lambda squared plus 4 equals 0. So if I solve this, I'll get complex uh, solutions. And in fact, I'll get plus or minus 2i. So my roots are complex and hence they have a special form. So y sub h is going to be something like this. Okay, and the, the, the reason there's no exponentials in here is because the real part of our um, roots are, is just zero. Okay, so that's the easy part of the problem. Let's um, have a look and see how we can build a, a particular solution to this problem from these parts of what I've just calculated. That's the idea of um, the uh, variation of parameters. Okay, so let's just call this, um, call these functions cos 2x y1 and sine 2x, let's call that y2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is build a particular solution to star out of the y1 and y2 in some way. Okay, well. We're going to use this representation here. Okay, it looks like a lot, but essentially it's just two integrations. Okay, the W here is a special function known as uh, the Ronskian, okay, which is just down here. And um, um, you can think of this part as, or the minus of this part, as just one function of x, and this integral is another function of x. So the method of variation of constants or variation of parameters makes the following assumption. We assume a particular solution to star is in the following form. Okay, for, for some functions, 
V1 and V2, I can, we're going to build a particular solution to this problem in the following form. Now, you can kind of see where the name variation of constants come from. These coefficients are not necessarily constant. Okay, they're functions. All right, well, let's build V1 and V2 just by applying the formula from the, the previous page. Now, to apply the formula, so, this is, so the min so minus of this integral would be your V1. Okay, now to apply that, you need this W, which is the Ronskian. So let's just actually compute the Ronskian first. So the Ronskian is just the following. This is how I remember it. Okay, it's a determinant of this. And our y1 in this case is cos 2x. Our y2 is sine 2x. And if I differentiate, say, cosine 2x, I'll get minus 2 sine 2x, and if I differentiate sine 2x, I'll get 2 cosine 2x. So then if I cross multiply that times that minus that times that, I can use cos squared plus sine squared equals 1, and I'll get 2 as my Ronskian. Now sometimes your Ronskian is a function of x, in this case it's just a constant. Okay. Now having that Ronskian as non-zero, tells me that these two functions up here are linearly independent. Okay, and so they're suitable for the method of variation of parameters. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to apply this formula. I'm just going to calculate these coefficient functions v1 and v2 just, um, uh, just separately. And then we'll put everything together. Okay, so this is my V1 function, just using our formula. I've left off the x's here just to save a bit of space. So all I really need to do is do uh, an integration here. So y2 is sine 2x, f, the right-hand side, is cosec 2x, a, the coefficient of y double prime is 1, and I've already calculated w to be 2. So let's just put all those things in. Okay, y sub 2 is sine 2x. f is cosec 2x. Now, cosec is 1 on sine. So, so hopefully you can see this is going to cancel off. And when I do that integration, I'll get minus x on 2. Okay, so to compute v sub 2, I'm going to use this integral here. Okay, v sub 2 is just the following. Okay? So my y1 in this case is cosine 2x. My f again is cosec 2x. My a is 1 and my w is 2. So let's sub those in and see how we go. And again, I'm going to write cosec as 1 on sine. Okay, so now I can take that sort of half out the front, I'm integrating something like this, so how do I integrate something like this? Well, if you look, sine and cosine, well, they can be related through differentiation. If I differentiate sine 2x, 
I almost get cosine 2x. Okay, so if I differentiate the denominator, I almost get the numerator. So this would suggest that I try to use some sort of logarithm to do this integration. Something like this. Okay, now if I differentiate this, I don't quite get what I've got here. I have to touch it up a bit. That 2 is going to come to the front, so I need to divide by 2. So that's V sub 2. So we've done the hard work. Let's put everything together in this, from this formula, and then we'll have Y sub P, and then I can build the general solution to star. Okay, so it's uh, V sub 1 times Y sub 1. So it's going to be that times cosine 2x. Mm -hmm. And it's going to then Y sub 2 times V sub 2, which is that times sine 2x. Okay, so it's a bit of a mess there, but that's, that is a particular solution to star. Now, the basic theory of these ODEs tells us that to form the general solution to this, take Y sub H, the solution to the homogeneous problem, and then add any particular solution to star. And then that, uh, that um, more general function will be a solution to the original problem. Okay, so all I need to do is take what I've got and uh, substitute in. Okay. So that's the solution, the general solution to star. A, big A and big B are arbitrary constants. We don't know what they are. We could calculate them if you wanted to, if we had the initial conditions, but we don't in this case. But we don't. Okay, so let's look at the bigger picture. Suppose I've got this particular equation where a, b, and c are constants. f of x is a given function. The solution method is to solve the associated homogeneous problem. Then construct a particular solution using these, uh, this formula here, where the w, the Ronskian, is just given by this. Add them, add them together and you form the general solution to the original problem. So here's one for you to do. Have a go with this one and see how you go. Okay. 